Hello everyone and welcome back to AMH. In today's video we're going to be doing an anxiety test. Now before we get into the actual anxiety test itself I want to tell you a bit more about anxiety and tell you a few facts about the condition. One in 13 people worldwide suffer from an anxiety disorder. That means every 13 people that watch this video at least at least one of them will be suffering from anxiety. Women have double the risk of developing an anxiety disorder than men. People who suffer from an anxiety disorder often suffer from other mental health conditions along with their anxiety disorder. The most common mental health illness that goes alongside anxiety is actually depression. So people who suffer from depression often have anxiety and people that suffer from anxiety often have depression. So they pretty much go hand in hand with each other. Now of course that's not every single case but the majority of people do suffer both of them. There are many different anxiety disorders out there and I want to tell you the main ones that people suffer from. The first one is GAD and that stands for General Anxiety Disorder. And that is the main anxiety disorder that people suffer from. You have a panic disorder, so panic attacks. You have social anxiety disorder, and that is when people become anxious in social situations. You have post-traumatic stress disorder. You also have obsessive compulsive disorder. Now, Let's get on to the actual anxiety test. This test is designed to see if you have GAD. So once again, GAD stands for General Anxiety Disorder. So this test is designed to see if you have general anxiety, not just one specific part of anxiety, like social anxiety, but to see if you as a whole have anxiety. If you've seen my depression test video, you will understand how I do the scoring system and how the questions actually work. For those of you that don't know how I do my mental health tests, I will explain to you now how they work. I'm going to ask you eight questions and you are going to answer yes or no. You can either keep them in your head and remember your answers for each of the eight questions or you can write them down on a piece of paper. I will also leave the eight questions in the description box down below. So while I'm talking, you can scroll down and read them for yourself. At the end of the eight questions, I will give you your results. Without further ado, let's get into the questions. The first question is, do you worry every day and feel as if you can't control your worry? The second question is, do you worry about different activities and events that are happening in your life? Question three, are you constantly on edge? Question four, do you become tired easily? Question five, does your worry control what you do or what you don't do in your life? Question six, do you get muscle tension or heart palpitations? Question seven, do you have trouble concentrating? Question eight, do you avoid certain situations in your life? Now you've answered all the questions, let's see if you are in fact suffering from anxiety. If you answered three or less yeses to the questions, it is highly unlikely that you are suffering from general anxiety disorder. You probably just worry too much in your life and worrying is normal and when you worry or if you worry too much it doesn't necessarily mean you're suffering from anxiety disorder. Don't forget everybody worries in their life, it's how you deal with that worry and what you worry about. So to reiterate that point, if you answered less than three yeses to my questions it is highly unlikely that you are suffering from an anxiety disorder. If you answered over four yeses to these questions, it is highly likely that you are suffering from a general anxiety disorder. If that was you and you answered more than four yeses, then there's ways around controlling and helping your anxiety. The first way to help your anxiety is 
Make an appointment with your local GP if you haven't done so already. Explain and tell your local GP how you are feeling and how it affects your life on a day-to-day -day basis. They will probably give you some sort of medication to help control your anxiety. They will also more than likely send you to a talking therapy session, whether that's an individual session or a group session, whichever you prefer, they will send you to, which together can actually help you overcome your fears and your anxiety. The second point is you can get in contact with me or with my Authentic Mental Health team to discuss your anxiety. I will also be making further videos on how you can control your fears and anxiety. And it's very simple if you know the right techniques and the right methods to help control yourself when you feel uptight and when you feel anxious in certain situations. However, like I've already stated, if you cannot wait for those videos, I will leave my email address down below in the description box and you can get in contact with me and I will send you pages from our website and dialogue from our website that can help you and take you through steps, a step-by-step -step guide how to control your anxiety, how to control your fears. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have found this video very helpful and useful and I hope you found out if you are suffering from anxiety or not. Give us a like, leave your scores in the description box down below and please tell me how you're going to proceed if you're suffering with anxiety. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button now so you never miss a video that I release.